Trying to sell a house that is worth less than the amount left on your mortgage? If so, it may be time to consider a short sale. But what is a short sale? How do they work? And what are the pros and cons? Join me today as I give you an overview of the short sale process and help you decide if it's right for you. Hi, I'm Jim Keveny of the Keveny Legal Group. We are a New Jersey and Pennsylvania based law firm that focuses on helping clients fight foreclosure. We routinely hear from clients that they would like to leave a property that is upside down or worth less than the remaining balance on the mortgage. One way to do that is through the short sale process. A short sale is selling the home for less than the amount owed on the mortgage. In other words, the amount received from the sale is short of the amount still owed. For a short sale to work, the bank must sign off on the deal, agreeing to take less than they are owed. Banks often prefer short sales over foreclosures because they mean avoiding the time and expense of going through a foreclosure. Remember, if a bank forecloses, it may take title to a property, but it still has to wait to sell that property at auction. That would require the bank to spend even more time to maintain the property. At least in a short sale, the bank gets a portion of its money back, avoiding a total loss. Of course, short sales used to be harder to work out with banks that did not want to lose any of their investment. But recent changes to federal law have created incentives for banks to work with borrowers in making these transactions easier. The process still requires bank approval, and not every short sale will be approved, but the federal law makes it easier to determine an appropriate sale price that will cause a bank to accept the deal. Now there's a downside to a short sale. You will usually have to be in default before a bank will agree to consider it. That will have a negative impact on your credit and put you at risk of a foreclosure. Also, once the bank accepts the deal and the house sells, the difference between the amount owed and the sale price of the home may be taxed as income to you. As a result, you should consult an attorney before you attempt to negotiate a short sale agreement with your lender. You can try to do a short sale even if you are already in litigation or before litigation starts. If you want to sell your house but can't because of the drop in home prices, a short sale may be a viable option for you to consider. At Kevney Legal Group, we have helped scores of clients find options to either avoid foreclosure altogether or to sell a property they no longer wanted. We will be happy to discuss the circumstances of your situation with you and help you determine the appropriate course of action to suit your needs. For a free, no obligation consultation, give us a call at 1-800-219-0939 or email me at jim at I'm Jim Keveny. Have a wonderful day.